Okay, guys, welcome in. The broadcast brought us coming to you live from Avalon. Let's take a look behind us. We've got a beautiful shot of Avalon behind us here. This is the Wild Buffalo Relay 2024. We've got all kinds of good stuff going on. Oh, on your finger. Uh, Danny's having a little injured today, but we're not going to let him have that as an excuse. <laughs> All right, this is our first beta test with the Starlink. We're going to see how this goes and see how long we can keep you guys uh, tuned in. <laughs> yeah. Shut them down early. Here we got safety one right here. Good luck today. Have fun. Look at the field guys. Beautiful day. I know the sun is kind of in front of us right now, so we're a little bit, probably got a little glare going on, but. Super stoked to bring this to you guys today. Uh, the brother Joel Maholava is on canoe first leg. He's going to start 20, I think 30 minutes for the first change. And then uh, the brother Matt Guy Noyan is going to go in. We are about, I think, five minutes from start, huh? Hopefully the audio is good, guys, and the video looks good. Looks good on my screen here. Not sure uh, how it looks there. Got a pretty fun field today. Going to be an epic battle between uh, first place OC1 and uh, first place V1, probably. Um, Steve Teotata is here. Darren Harbelow is his uh, relay partner. And we're looking uh, probably for Danny Ching and Ryland Hart to be competing with them down the channel. We also have, I think, a field of 91. I don't have a roster, um, but I'm going to do my best to utilize some of the guys on the boat here to help uh, identify some of the crews. And again, guys, this is just a giant beta test for um, for what we're doing, trying to um, advance our game a little bit. And um, super stoked to bring this to you via um, Starlink. So we'll see how this works. And I want to give a shout out to Margin for uh, donating the hats to the broadcast products to sell, which uh, allowed us to purchase and uh, use this piece of equipment. So thank you guys very much. We'll go through the, the guys that are important today. Thanks to uh, Pua Designs for putting on this cool race. And um, it's been a good race every year. The conditions look really, really fun. Uh, there is some heart swell mid-channel. The paddle the boys are using today, Matt and Joe, are hippo sticks. Join the herd. I don't know if that's a catchphrase, Danny, so please forgive me if you see it, but I just made it up for you. Joe and I are going to try something today on Shop's headphones where we're going to talk to each other while he's on one of his paddling um, uh, legs. He's doing one of his pieces, so really excited about that. There's the brother Joe with his uh, Canon, Canon polarized sunglasses. Joe has a uh, sponsorship with Canon, so we're going to support them today and show them. Joe also uh, works and represents the sports basement in Orange County. It's going to be open location in Long Beach, so you guys please uh, take a look there. And uh, Florence, you guys, FlorenceMarineX.com. Utilitarian equipment for modern sport conditions. Go we'll check them out. And uh, we're about five minutes from race start. We got safety one right here in front of us. Let's get a shot. What's going on? You guys feel good up there? Yeah? Right on. Captain Charlie, good? Ryland, you feeling good today? boy. Got all the escort boats Sorry. lined up on this side. 
those beautiful Avalon. There's a casino back there. I'm trying to get a little zoom on it, see if we can. There we go. The Catalina Casino right there, the Avalon Casino. I might babble a little bit today, guys. I apologize. So I'm only me really doing commentary, so just going to have to deal with it. Here we go. We're going to start race. There's a man from Ozone right there. I can zoom in on you, Lindsay. All right, race start. Here we go, guys. Technically five? Technically. I know. Bruce, right now, safety one's like, no. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. It's not like we're not going to do five hours of paddling right I now. I know, I know, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this mountain dialed in here. Okay. That's sun glare right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, as soon as we get opened up here, <clears throat> we'll be able to get some really nice shots. And uh, hopefully Starlink will hold us across the uh, channel today. We'll see. I am going to be helping do some changes, so I will be putting the camera down off and on. Um, so please bear with us for that. i to make sure that everything happens safely. I know. <laughs> this is the normal kind of start. Push, 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 push. Here they go. <laughs> and they're off. I'm going to get low in the back here. Again, guys, welcome to the Wild Buffalo Relay. We just started the race about, I don't know, 30 seconds ago. The pack was pushing pretty hard. They had no choice but to start. What else is new? And uh, looking at a field of about, I know there's 91 entries, 91 teams. Pretty much maxed out the races here as Kelly had brought to us. And um, I was really excited to bring it to you guys today. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Here we go. see it right away here are the surf skis pushing pretty hard early on got a little zoom in there hopefully it kind of works there we go the surf skis pushing pretty hard early which we know it's like danny sitting right behind them and the field's starting to work itself out here are you doing a timer they'll call they'll call the first change charlie yeah we're, we're gonna rely on joey's gonna put up his but Bruce will call in the first change. Let's take a look behind here, guys. Let me zoom out. See what's happening behind us here. Got a whole fleet of boats escorting. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Gonna be fun today. So that beautiful conditions, probably a little bit of swell starting mid-channel. It might work in the favor of the paddlers, so hopefully, um, hopefully they get to take advantage of some of those today. You can see the front of the pack here opening up. 
in, guys. We can't get close. Uh, can't get close in yet because uh, they haven't released the chase boats in. We'll get you some closer shots. Um, we are following the team of uh, Jonah Holova and Matt Nayanoni. And um, so we will primarily be seeing them a lot today. And I apologize for that, but this is just part of us uh, working out some working out some um, technology and trying some different equipment. Got a new camera that we're using. Hopefully the picture looks pretty good. And um, from my viewpoint, it looks okay. So I hope it's good, guys. We got some comments out of Tahiti. Um, looks like um, Steve's sister and some of his family are on, encouraging him today. Oh, I see you, Steve. Now you see Steve way out south? Over by the sailboat. That's him on the V1. Oh, really? Yeah. Or Darren, or it might be Darren. Hey, they're going to take a lower line. I think when the wind starts, they're going to be able to cut back. I think that's what they're planning on. All right, we managed to find Steve in the field. It might be Darren actually started. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. He is way south, taking a kind of a southern line, way on the outside out there. You can see him in the shot. Um, might work to his advantage today. The wind is changing today, uh, mid race, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, how that pans out. I'm gonna back it back out so I don't shake you guys to death. Sorry about that. Looking, sounding great so far. Thanks you guys for commenting on the on the uh, YouTube or on the page, I can see your comments. So if anything happens or anything gets a little funky, please let me know. But so far, so good. Granted, we're only about less than a mile from Avalon, so we'll see how it goes. Now it's see gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how they go with when they're gonna turn down and yeah. he is way out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's following that double surf ski. We're almost on a direct course right now for We're on a direct course? Yeah. So they're really south. <laughs> Got Danny really pushing hard up front here. Again, guys, we're going to do our best to get close to these guys, but um, primarily we are a, a chase boat today, and uh, we will be assisting the team that we are calling uh, Akina Stacks. Because all of us got Akinas in our names, apparently. <laughs> See the pack opening up? <laughs> You got eyes on Joe right there? Right yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah, okay. You can always tell Joe he's the smallest one in the group. It's funny, as I've been watching so long, I can tell he's true. That's yeah, you can see it, yeah. He's in a good spot right there. Yeah. This is the brother Joe right here. Kind of right in the middle of a draft pack, it looks like. This pack's going to be interesting to see. It's like Gnome up there. I don't know who is in front of Gnome, but they're all kind of grouped up in there. Looks like Sinkus is right there. Jake might be in that mix. Oh, Jake's back a little bit. I see Nico back here on his V1. Look at look how far south Steve is. Sorry guys. Oh shoot, shoot, sorry. I feel like I hit a button. <laughs> okay, 
get right on, guys. We're going to do some nice panoramic shots here of Catalina right behind us. All the escort boats making their way out. We're trying to not wake the group or give any advantages. Should have brought a tripod. Could have just set the camera right here off and on, you know? So the race is going to encompass about 32 miles, 31 miles from Avalon all the way into NAC, Newport Aquatic Center. We'll finish there. Um, we'll be doing relay changes about every 20 minutes or so. There are some of the field that is uh, ironing today. I think about 14 iron, maybe 13 iron. Um, guys that are really like the punishment, but I'm glad they're doing it because I'm not going to do it for sure. Beautiful morning. Not a lot of texture or surf in the water yet, but coming out this morning, there was uh, a good amount of um, bump in the water, mid-channel. That might play well for these guys. Again, it kind of depends on what's going to happen with the wind later today. The tide is also dropping right now, um, so they're going to find some interesting feel off and on along the way. Might feel like mud for one minute. They might feel like you're not even paddling for another minute. I don't know. Looking silky out here. Sure is silky. All right. So far, we've been live for about uh, 18 minutes, 17 and a half minutes. And um, so far, so good, guys. Like I said, looking forward to uh, looking forward to how the Starlink setup works. And if it works good, and we're able to travel with it, then hopefully we'll be um, coming to a race near you. The brother Joe and I, and the brother Eric, coming to a race near you to uh, capture some of your guys' uh, landscape and backdrops and competition. Danny has opened up a really big gap here in the in the secondary pack. I mean, if you can see it on the video, kind of hard to see where he's at here because of the sun glare. But let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, afford a little zoom. There's Danny. He is just working right now. He's partnered with Ryland Hart, so we'll see Ryland today. I think Ryland just came off a pretty decent race in Hawaii and um, looking pretty strong. So it should be a really, really fun team to watch, even though maybe we won't see him that much because, like I said, we're a chase boat today, but we're going to do our best. Steve has really took a really far south line out there. I'm going to try and zoom in. He is way south. You can see him kind of right there. Again, bold move. Sorry, the camera's trying to focus on that zoom. Makes it a little bit tough. The bold move, we'll see how it works out. You saw some of the fields opening up. You can imagine what the water is going to look like here in about 20 minutes, 15 minutes when they allow the first change. It's going to be victory at sea. Let's get back to this secondary pack right here. Good. 
Joe's looking good. Yeah, bro. He's right there. He's hanging right in there. Yeah. Exactly where he needs to be. Feeling ready? Yeah. Yeah? Got to stay warm. Probably rewarm back up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see Finkus, I see Noam, Joe's right behind Finkus right yep. now. I see Tim, Bertiak. I don't know who the yellow on them. That's that, oh no, that's not the junior. They're in a bright green canoe on the outside. Yeah, yeah. On the other side of Joe. Yep. Okay, audio and video solid so far. Thank you guys for chiming in. Like I said, this is a this is a fun thing for us. We get to jump on a jump on an escort boat, test out some equipment, see how they work, and um, you know the center of the, the Catalina Channel has always been very elusive uh, to broadcast through or to get live signal through. Uh, I think uh, we well no I don't think I know because I was part of it but we had Ocean Paddler TV. Last Catalina nine man race, able to get high definition uh, all the way across. And I took some mental notes when I was on the boat with those guys and I'm mimicking, uh, mimic, I'm, 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 bite, I'm, I'm biting on their style a little bit. So it's the best I can. But um, yeah, so the you know, uh, nine man race was the first time we broadcast across the full channel. And they did it both ways, which was really, really cool. And just looking forward to being able to do it, do it locally for the Southern California market, and, and also, you know, show the show the rest of the world that we broadcast out to people that watch the kind of uh, races we do and the kind of quality that's here, and hopefully encourage people to travel in and race. Like I said, this is a beautiful day in April. Could have gone either way. A couple days ago, it was really, really stormy. Um, Friday was pretty stormy, pretty, pretty windy. Looks like it. And uh, there was some swell in the water. And then we uh, settled down yesterday a little bit. Today's going to be pr pretty beautiful morning and beautiful day. Looking at a race time, hopefully for our crew of sub five hours. We're hoping. I think that's the plan. I heard them talking about this morning. So let's watch some action and. Uh, I uh, will try not to uh, babble on too much more. Uh oh, got people complaining about wake surfing. This is still a straight line to Newport right now, we're just trying to stay away from a little bit, but yeah, we're pretty close. We're hearing over the radio that. Uh, there's some guys already back there surfing, surfing wake illegally. We uh, definitely, definitely try to keep all the guys as honest as possible, but paddlers are paddlers and they love wake and there's no way of stopping them from going for it. Captains and the race directors. We've already got some, uh, already got some people upset about boat wake and uh, that kind of stuff. So 
stuff to keep everybody happy. I mean, let's just face it. But do our best to keep a safe race. And uh, Safety One does a great job, along with uh, Kel Thompson Schwartz, which is Safety One's wife. They run really, really fun races. And um, keep an eye out for Baja Worldwide, guys. Joe's looking good. Yeah, he's looking super good. Yeah. He's solid in that pack right there. We were commenting that uh, last year, Joe was Joe was not in the kind of shape he was this year. And uh, so now. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> now the brother Matt doesn't have to carry the load anymore. Matt's got a strong back, Rob. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of load to carry. <laughs> you gotta keep him honest as much as you can, bro. For the whole world to see. Yeah. Him. All fifty people watching right now. <laughs> fifty. Oh, that's bro. That's true. Yeah. We got 50 live, and everyone's saying everything's good. Feed's good, audio's good. Quality is good? Quality's HD. Nice. Because that was the thing at the third bar race was that, Brad, you couldn't, like, hard to tell anything. Well, part of that was my fault, too, because I, I plugged the capture card into the wrong USB port. So it's operator error. I got plenty of heat from Joel about that, so I'm just paying it back. Just to give you an idea how tight quarters are in here. There goes the team. Hey, hey. What's up, boys? Are you ready or what? You're in that pack right there. <laughs> right away means nothing out here, Charlie. Yeah. Right. We're at about what, one and a half miles? <laughs> yep. Close to two. I just thought I got to do that. On. Thanks all the guys in Tahiti that are watching right now. I appreciate that. They kind of started five minutes early, so I'm going to switch what at. Yeah. That, they started five minutes early, so are they going to switch five minutes early? Think? Yeah, they yeah. Kind of just stay way out of the way. Love being able to bring the race to you guys. Uh, Steve was very kind in allowing me to utilize his Facebook vision for, um, you know, for broadcasting to you guys in Tahiti. So my French is no good. Otherwise, I'd try and speak French. It's not going to happen today. Sorry. <laughs> Looking great out here. Beautiful morning.
pack is heading a little bit south right now. And we, we as uh, escort boats are, are trying to stay as far away from them as possible. We'll have some really up close action um, after the first change or two. Once it opens up a little bit and guys start to spread out. People start putting their strategies at play. Who's going to take a little bit further south line or a little bit further north line and risk the, the wind and the surf? Either way, we'll see. Got a lot of racing ahead of us, like I said, about five hours. And uh, hopefully I can keep you entertained for most of that. There will be a time when I have to switch batteries out, so I will drop the feed. And then I'll come bring it back on. I'll just switch the camera to a different camera angle and try and keep the signal going well, the whole way across if possible. Appreciate all you guys tuning in today. All of our viewers uh, back home, as Joel likes to say, 